Jeff Pasquino, fantasy expert, footballguys.com. Oh, yeah, it's Helping time. you answer your week 14 fantasy football questions. You're in the playoffs, uh, right? Or your playoffs uh, my league started? doesn't do playoffs. Okay. My well, main, my big league well, mine does, do does and I need to win this week, so I'm locked into my this My big segment. league, we don't do playoffs. We go all the way to the end. You know why we don't do playoffs? We always say we don't want to rob anybody of no fantasy football. If you get knocked out in, like, week 14, oh, yeah. there's a couple of weeks you get no fantasy football. So we decided no playoffs, best team, best record, all the way to the end of the season. And that's how we do it. And uh, that's how we do it. We answer your questions. And by the way, PT, They're we've got a ton it. of questions yeah, coming you in for Jeff. Tell it's a playoff week. Yeah, let's get into them. Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com. What is up, my man? Week 14 already. Hard to, hard to believe we're in the playoffs, but here we go. Awful. Awful. I hate it. Week 14, we're too close to the end. Uh, what about you, Jeff? You like a playoff league or a non playoff league? I like a playoff league. I think that, you know, the the strong teams always make the playoffs and then it gets a little bit lucky after that. But I also like the daily game, too. So if the guys are eliminated, you can play some daily, some FanDuel, some, some DraftKings and play some there. Gotcha. All right. Uh, yeah, we, our league's never done playoffs. We always go right to the end of the league. Best record gets the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, but a lot of people want your advice for their playoffs here. So let's uh, look at the Thursday night game tonight. we got two big teams New Orleans and Atlanta. So uh, which guys should be active tonight? Well, we're going to key on Mark Ingram tonight. We're, he's questionable, but he's probably going to play. But there's, it's still 50-50. So Alvin Kamara is probably the top running back for tonight. I think both Atlanta running backs are also in play. But if Ingram is out, Kamara is a must-start. He's a must-start no matter what, but he becomes a top-notch play. Everybody should be using him. Uh, and if, But if Ingram is out, the look, you know, I'm, I'm looking more towards Drew Brees and Mike Thomas falling technique for that touchdown we've been looking for. All right, uh, tonight, Atlanta Saints, get your players in. Let's look at some quarterbacks this week. And uh, uh, let's go to, uh, how about Alex Smith? A lot of people talking about, are they going to go to Mahomes? But last week, he looked like the Alex Smith from early in this evening. But even though the Chiefs had lost again, should Alex Smith uh, be in the lineup? He is, he, and he definitely should be. Uh, he's going to get that Oakland Raiders, bad defense. There's a 31-30 game on a Thursday night, the first time they met. And Andy Reid has handed over the keys to the offensive reins, and look what happened last week. So I think we go right back to the well. I like I like Alex Smith, I like Travis Kelsey, and I like Tyreek Hill. Okay, uh, Matt Stafford, questionable, uh, probably will play against Tampa Bay, but will that scare you away from using Stafford? No, he practiced today. I think he's going to be a go. And against Tampa Bay, that's a bad defense. I love him throwing a Marvin Jones this week. Uh, Phillip Rivers had a big week last week against the Browns. Uh, him and Keenan Allen are on the same page. Can they carry you in the fantasy playoffs? Absolutely. I think he's got – they're at a stretch run right now. They know if they win, they're at least tied for first place this week. They've got a soft schedule, and I think this is a game that they simply must win and to be uh, pushed for their playoffs. A couple more quarterbacks. How about last week? If you watch Russell Wilson against the Eagles, you would thought this guy might be the MVP of the league. So should he be in your fantasy playoff lineup? The Jaguars have been very stingy for fantasy points to quarterback. So this is a make or break this week. That said, I think Russell Wilson is a QB1 borderline. I think he's a top 10 guy. Uh, he is the offense. He's 80% of their production. He's definitely a, a must start this week. All right, two more quickies. Uh, Jared Goff, most points in the league, tied with the Eagles at 361. Should he play this week in fantasy? I think so, uh, but those – it's going to be a tough game for both sides. I think the game's a little bit more low scoring than they expect, but the Eagles, they have not been so stingy in the red zone of late. So I'd like Goff to get a couple of connections, maybe even dump it off uh, for, to Todd Gurley for a touchdown. Uh, last one on the quarterbacks, Case Keenum. Are you starting to buy into him that he's got to be in your fantasy lineup come playoff time? I think he is, but he has a tough matchup against Carolina this week. He's more of a quarterback, too, this week, but... I think Minnesota, they're in the number one seed right now, and they know if they keep winning, they get to hold it. So Keenum is the guy for them. All right, uh, Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com, answering your fantasy football questions. If you have a question for Jeff, send us a text at 609-403-0973. We'll get to those questions in a minute. PT's compiling those. Yes, uh, but let's look at some running backs now. And how about LaShawn McCoy against Indianapolis? He seems like since he's going to Buffalo, he's been a little under the radar, but – uh, should he be in the fantasy lineup this week? Nothing is better in December than playing a, a dome team on the road. So I really like McCoy this week, and I don't think that they're going to have a solid quarterback situation. 
Nathan Peterson may be back out there, or Peterman, however you say his name. It doesn't matter. He's not relevant. <laughs> it's going to be all McCoy this week, and I think he's a running back one. Melvin Gordon, and uh, he's a part of that uh, Chargers team. But, uh, you know, Rivers and Ian Allen have been a lot of the offense. But how about Melvin Gordon this week? I think you're going to see a little bit of everybody for the Chargers. You're going to see Gordon, you're going to see Allen, you'll see Rivers, and you're going to see some Hunter Henry. I think all those guys are going to be in play. Um, I, I, Washington's offensive line is banged up. They're going to get blown out. Chargers are winning. Cruz, which means Gordon will be running late. Okay, how about uh, Alfred Morris? Had a big game the last time we saw him. This week he's got the Giants, so is he a guy that's a sneaky must-play? He's sneaky if you need a touchdown, but in a PPR league I would not use him at all. All right, uh, let's look at uh, how about Devonta Freeman back after the concussion. You saw him last week. You've got the Saints, though, this week. Yeah, I think that he's going to be definitely in play. I think all the Atlanta guys, pretty much the entire offense is in play. The over-under in Vegas tells you a lot. The total is 53, the highest of any game this week play all your starters from both those teams uh you mentioned uh some chiefs uh we went to alex smith but kareem hunt people who have been holding on to him and waiting and waiting uh, how about in the playoffs you feel uh, confident using him in uh, week 14 in a word no but uh, <laughs> it depends on what other options you have if you don't have a better option and he's he's your guy he's still considered a a borderline running back one definitely a running back two so unless you have better options you have to stick him in your lineup Wide receiver time now. If you have a question for Jeff, send us a text, 609-403-0973. And Jeff Vesquino from footballguys.com will answer your fantasy football questions live on the air. All right, let's look at uh, how about Michael Thomas tonight against uh, the uh, the Falcons. You know, here's a guy who, even though this team has been really good, has he been an elite fantasy player? He's been elite in catching passes and putting up yards. But not finding the end zone. But I think he changes that tonight, and he think he gets 100 yards and a touchdown. All right, uh, let's go to uh, how about Des Bryant against the Giants? You know, old division rivals here. The Giants having a down year, but Des hasn't had that big game. Is this the week? I don't trust him right now, and I don't trust anybody on Dallas. I think that the Giants are going to come up a little bit fired up, playing for Eli this week, and I'm looking for the Giants to actually upset the the Cowboys. Uh, I think that they would take some self gratification there over beating the Cowboys and knocking them out of the NFC East. Uh, how about uh, if K hasn't played in a while, comes back last week, has a pretty nice game. Are you plugging Josh Gordon into your fantasy playoff lineup? This is a Josh Gordon week. Everybody should be playing him this week. He's got a great matchup against a terrible Green Bay secondary. He should have had a huge week last week. Um, he, he had a good game. He could have been an outstanding game. This is the week. Oh, and the cornerback that he matched up with for the for last week said that he had the that was the toughest matchup he's had all year, and he's faced pretty much every elite wide receiver in the league. So, I think that you're looking for Josh Gordon to get over 100 yards of a touchdown easily this week, and it could be the wide receiver one across the board. If Chris Hogan is active, should he be active for you? Uh, with the Patriots, there's too many options, and they're playing Miami, so. I don't think they're going to be running it up. I think Hogan will get his feet wet this week if he plays at all. But the Patriots probably don't need him to rush him. So I think he may just get a, few, a handful of catches and maybe a score. But he's borderline wide receiver three. Okay. If you've been a Jermaine Curse owner the last couple of weeks, he has really uh, helped you prosper. Do you trust him uh, going into the fantasy playoffs here with the Denver on the schedule? Yes, but with Denver right now, it's a tough matchup. Plus, Robbie Anderson just hurt his hamstring again in practice today. So that really, that's going to mean the coverage is really going to focus on Curse and the tight ends. Not that they're good at covering tight ends for Denver, but uh, Curse, that's going to lower Curse's value. I think he's still an option, but his value goes down with Anderson out. Okay, that's uh, Jeff Pasquino from thefootballguys.com setting up the scene. Now, PT has got your fantasy football questions for week number 14. Rapid fire, Jeff. Here we go. Breezer Wilson went with Wilson last week on your call, and it paid off. Thanks. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, I would actually go with Russell Wilson because he, he drives that offense. Jordan Howard or Jay Williams in a PPR league? Ooh, uh, Jordan Howard is really hard to trust. I would not use him this week. And just to give the, this texture the benefit of the doubt, uh, Dwayne Allen, Dak, trying to find a tight end because he puts in stupid Gronk. Like, what are tight end solutions? Because that addresses a couple of the texts that are here. I have his tight end solution. Go pick up Steven Anderson of the Houston Texans. 
He saw 14 targets last week. He's going to be used as a wide receiver, too, this week. There you go. Theo Riddick or James White? Riddick, if he starts, because you could trust him for more touches, White's getting phased out. Jameis Winston or Big Ben? Big Ben at home against the Ravens? Absolutely. Antonio Brown has a big game, too. Non-PPR flex spot, Giovanni Bernard or Kerwin Williams? Giovanni Bernard should be mentioned. We should, I thought we'd talk about him, but we haven't yet. He is probably going to start this week with Joe Mixon injured. I love him against the Bears. And just to spin this the right way, so the guy that has Gronk on suspension is looking at Charles Clay, Tyler Croft, or Steven Anderson are the choices. Steven Anderson. Big Ben or Stafford? Big Ben because he's healthy, and but Stafford is going to be a go. He's a QB2. Big Ben or Wentz? Uh, I think that the Eagles need Wentz this week more. Playoff help. I need help, Jeff Pasquino. Goff or McCowan? I have Goff or McCowan. Who do I go with? Oh, you got to go with Goff in that instance for sure. And we've got uh, must pick two at running back in a PPR league. Darkwell, Perrine, Tevin Coleman, or Theo Riddick? Uh, I would go with Coleman and Riddick if he starts. If not, then i go with uh, Freeman. Flex spots in a PPR league. D. Lewis, R. Anderson, Alex Collins, Cooper Cup, or Aaron Jones? Well, wow, anybody else left? Uh, I would go with, <laughs> hey, these, they're I go taking with, advantage of you. <laughs> I, I think D. Lewis, we said Anderson possibly out. Cooper Cup will be second choice. All right, uh, that's all the time we have for your questions out there. Thanks to the listeners. And uh, if we don't get your questions this week, we'll try to get it, do it again next week with uh, week number 15 of the Fantasy Football lineup. So, Jeff, with that, who are some of the guys uh, that you're playing this week? Uh, a couple quick names to drop out there. Definitely Gio Bernard is a good pickup this week. Also, a running back, Mike Davis for Seattle against Jacksonville. That's their weakness. He should be their leading running back. Wide receiver, I look for uh, Cleveland to shut down their number one wide receiver, Adam. So, Jordy Nelson is available out there, or even Cobb. One of those two guys, they haven't been used too much. He, they, those are guys I pivot to. And at tight end, I mentioned Steven Anderson. He's the guy to go get. And also watch out if Delani Walker is out. Uh, Johnu Smith at tight end is a, is a decent pickup against Arizona, as is uh, Ricky Sales Jones. Okay, there you go. Jeff Pasquino from thefootballguys.com helping you for week number 14 in your fantasy football season. Good luck, Jeff. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy the games.